The White House thinks this is such an important part of keeping kids safe as they go back to school that they allocated $10 billion for screening testing in schools as part of the American Rescue Plan. Now, that would go to states, and then states make the decision about how to use this. We talked with the White House COVID testing coordinator, Carol Johnson, about what she's seeing in terms of how these different programs are being put into place. It looks different in different places, right? Some school districts are doing um, uh, rapid tests. Some school districts are doing pool tests. Some school districts are doing a lab partnership or saliva test with a local academic medical center. It looks different in different places. Um, but, you know, in areas of high transmission, kids and teachers who are unvaccinated being tested uh, once a week is CDC's recommendation. But what we're finding, guys, is if you look across the United States, different cities are doing this in really, really different ways. You have Los Angeles uh, Unified School District, which is testing everybody weekly, regardless of their vaccination status. But then you have other cities that are weekly testing for staff, like Detroit, Philadelphia and Oakland, just unvaccinated staff, Santa Barbara, Long Beach, Kansas City and Washington, D.C. And then every two weeks for San Jose County and uh, San Jose, California and Clark County uh, Nevada, some places are not doing any testing at all, uh, like Iowa. They actually declined to do to take the, the funding from the American Rescue Plan. Now, schools are doing testing for diagnostics in terms of if kids have symptoms and things like that. Uh, and this has been an area that a lot of companies have started to get involved with, specifically Ginkgo Bioworks. We hear a lot about them in terms of uh, working with states uh, to provide testing for schools. So a lot of companies here stepping up to try to make this possible.